Hello, teacher loves. It has been such a long time. My name is Shamika King and I teach in Sweet Home, Alabama. And this video is a special video made for some of the teachers that reached out to me um, wanting to know how our school or actually how I did my um, classroom transformation on Monsters University. Monsters University, and I will say my whole school was on board with this, and we did the whole school. And of course, each teacher did their little special thing in their classroom. So I posted my things on Instagram or in my Instagram stories, and then I also posted it on um, the Rocker School Facebook page. And a lot of res I got a lot of questions about what I did, what resources I used. So this video is made particularly or especially for those teachers. And but of course, if you want to watch this video to find out how I did my room transformation and what resources I used. You are more than welcome to join or stay tuned. All right, here we go. Teacher loves, let me quickly show you how my scare, how our scare game went. So this is the cover page for the little packet that I gave each student. You can edit this if you need to make changes. All you have to do is just click in the text box and make changes where you need changes. These are the, um, rules or the agenda that I gave them on in order how to play the scare games. So they had to, they were divided up into groups, gave them eight learning challenges. Um, they had to work together. They got a chance to earn or lose bonus points or scare points, sorry, or screen points. I think I did it screen points because I use screen cans. And then they also had an opportunity to um, choose early finishers. So any early finisher you want them to do a word search, um, crossword puzzle, there was a memory game, a monster memory game that they played. Um, anything that you want to choose for them to do as an early finisher if they get through all the challenges before the day is up. But these challenges did last the entire day. So um, I feel like I timed it really well and it did last the entire day. So most of them did make it to at least one of the early finisher activities. All right, moving right along for challenge number one, we worked on long A sound, which was A, I, and A, Y. And this was a resource that I pulled off TPT for them to work on. It was free. All the resources will be listed at the end of the slides. I will show you in just a minute. And everything that we did um, for our skill challenges were things that we have been doing all week. So it was pretty much a review for us. And I wanted to make this as student paced as possible because the day before I worked so hard getting the classroom transformed. So the next day I wanted to be kind of light work on me um, and more on the students because yes, I worked hard to get this all together. So I wanted to make this student pace and wanted to make sure that um, I just facilitate it. And then for scare two, they scoot around the room to complete proper nouns. I pulled this from a resource on TPT. Um, it was one of the Amy Lemons resources. So it was just this um, task cards, I'm sorry. Yes, task cards on proper nouns. And then for three, they went to Schoology. I uploaded a directed drawing on Schoology. So all I did was draw a picture of a monster or follow the video and drew a picture of a monster. For four, um, this resource was also pulled from TPT. Um, and it was a task cards as well where they had to um, put numbers in sequential order or find the missing numbers, what they had to do. And it was on place value as well, something that we've been studying all week. For five, they had to write a story about the monster that they drew for challenge number three. And I pulled this from a free resource from TPT, the paper is um, the writing paper that they had to use. I pulled from a free resource on TPT and it just said um, story about my monster. And then for six um, reading scare, they just went to Epic. I assigned them three books on, or two books actually on monsters. One was actually a nonfiction book about um, sea monsters. And then the other book was just a fun book about monsters. And then they had to take a quiz. Each quiz had about five questions to it. So that was comprehension for them. And then for seven, these are, this resource I actually made that I will share with you as well. It's on place value. And they just did scoop around the room answering um, the questions or the, the problems on each task card. And then for challenge eight, I made this resource as well. And this was a um, plus 10, minus 10 activity. And it went with a riddle that they had to solve once they answered all of the addition questions. Um, this is the paper I gave them to do their drawing. You do not have to make a, a separate piece of paper. You can just give them a blank piece of paper. But I just wanted my monster drawing at the top. And then this is a list of all the resources. I mean, I listed every single one. These are all the free resources as you can see and what I used and how I used them. And these are all the paid resources. But I will um, tell you that most of these resources I had already had. 
So I've used them in the past, so I just pull certain things from them to use in the challenge, if that all made sense. And that's it for that. And then these are the um, student um, badges that I made. And all you have to do is just go in and just type the names of your students. If you want to make a copy, you just hit right click and hit um, duplicate slide. So if you need more than what is on the screen, you can do that. And then this is or the slots that I use for the day and their agenda and what we were doing for the rest of the day. I basically try to make it like our normal day where we do ELA in the morning and then we do ELA, I mean, um, math in the afternoon. And then we did break for like um, brain breaks. We made slime. Um, we listened to some stories. We talked about some things. And I did, before we start this, since we were doing Monster University, I did explain to them what college is like. And like their pamphlet that I gave them was basically like a syllabus. And they had to complete the assignments on the due date and all that jazz. So I did go through the... Um, give them background knowledge on what a university is and what takes place. Um, so I basically um, screenshot some of the activities and explain to them while I was going through a whole group. This is what I did to come up with each team. So I listed the students' names here. Text boxes are already here. And this was a free resource that I found off of TPT. thought it was very cute. And then I just put each challenge and we just kind of talked about real quickly about what the expectations were. I made sure to put the instructions on each challenge so when they got to on their own to do them, they didn't have to come and ask me. And then again, expectations. Here are the videos that I uploaded to Seesaw. I'm sorry, not Seesaw. Um, Schoology. And they got to choose whichever monster they wanted to draw. And then this is just a resource that one of our fabulous teachers made that I added into our slides of books. And I used this as an early finisher. Because most of these books we had already read through the week. So I also use this as an early finisher. And these are just some extra slides just in case you need it. So I will send you these as well. Um, and I think that is it. Okay, so here's a little in-depth about the resources that were in the slides. Okay, so this is the Scare Challenge booklet or syllabus assignment that I gave each student. And inside are the resources that I pulled from various resources, as you saw in the um, early part of the video. Um, this is that slide I showed you that gave them the agenda and what to do. This is the AIAY um, challenge that I gave them. I think there were like three or four passages in that resource. It was absolutely free, but we were studying AI and AY for the week, so I thought this would be perfect, and it gives them the directions. They have to do various things to the passage as well as read, and they got to do with the partner. This is the recording sheet that went with the proper noun task cards. Here are the proper noun task cards here. And this came from that Rooted in Reading resource um, that's listed in the links. Uh-oh, some of these got mixed up. That's fine. Let's see what's the keys. All right. But anyway, those are the um, proper grammar card, proper noun grammar cards that we use. Um, the next challenge was their monster drawing. Again, you can just give them a blank, plain piece of paper. You do not have to get, put that at the top. But um, I just wanted to have that at the top. This went along with what's behind the door, and this is an example I pulled. Um, this is an example or something that I pulled from a, another resource that's also listed in the paid resources. They basically had to figure out what number was missing, and they list their um, letter, which is the letter at the top of the page here, and then the interval, meaning what did you have to count by, and then they listed the numbers that were missing. And let's see. This is the story that I also pulled from a free resource um, that's linked on the last slide as well and this is just the page there were different um pages that you could have used for this depending on the age level of your students this is a resource that i actually made that went along with these task cards here okay and this was on place value because this is something that we've been studying and so they would look at the place value match the letter with the recording sheet and then they would write their answer in the space of course so and then this is also the resource that i made and they had to do it was a plus 10, minus 10 um, activity. Again, we've been studying this all week. And then um, after they finished, there was a letter by each answer. Sorry, let me turn this this way. There was a letter by each answer, and then they had to solve the riddle. So that's that. And then this was an early finisher. That's an early finisher. I have these cards as an early finisher where they just played memory and match um, the cards. I also used um, books as an early finisher and 
yeah, anything you want to come up with. This is the hat that we made. They came in yellow, but I sprayed, my husband spray painted them blue for me. And then I made these labels. I'll insert a picture of the labels that I use for those. And then these are the points or the screen points that they earn. I put um, the screen loss on red. This is from that resource that came with this resource. So these two resources are in the same packet, okay? Um, so I printed them off on red and blue cardstock. So I wrote, and here's just an example, like this was the purple team. And say, for example, they earned, I can't remember how many points they earned, but anyway, I just wrote either five or 10 on the card, depending on um, how they were doing, how well they were doing. And then I didn't give anybody minus five, even though I said you can get up to minus five. I only did the minus one if they were not working together. Then they came and asked me a question about something that was explicitly on the in the directions. Then they got a minus one because I did explain to them that they needed to read the directions before they came and asked me. And they also need to work with their team to see if they can come up with the answer together or whatever they couldn't um, figure out together. And if they nobody could figure it out and they couldn't find the directions, then they came and asked me. But if they came and asked me and we went to the directions and it was there, they lost the point for that. And that is about it. And these are the letters that is included that I made also. This was something I made. And I just put them on um, um, cardstock, cut them out, and I placed a piece of magnet on the back. That's how they were stuck on the board. The challenges also, and I did not get a chance to laminate the challenges, but they did okay. And I just stuck, well, actually, no, I used magnets to put these up because I didn't want to stick magnet. Um, a piece of magnet on the back so I didn't put anything on the back I'll show you what I used I used these little magnets here to hold each card up and then these are the little pieces that they move once they were finished with the challenge they move the pieces here I don't have students with these numbers so those were there but everybody those were over there but the, everybody got finished with the challenge and I used these pieces from a unlock challenge that I already had made. So I didn't make these um, separately, but you can use anything as little moving pieces or game pieces or whatnot. And then this is, and I'm gonna walk you out to the bulletin board, but this is what they made. <laughs> My monster's missing arms because I had to give it to another student. But this is what they made earlier in the week, just as a display on the um, bulletin board. Doors were made with butcher paper, tape, um, Dollar Tree tablecloths, traced um, Sully there, traced Mike, and then those doors came from one of the resources that I sent you, the link to the resources I sent to you. Little monsters came from Amazon, and yeah, I did do a lot of putting up because this was plenty. Wait, wait, wait. 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 W